Hello, and welcome to another Mamaki exclusive. My name is Melvin, an application specialist here at Mamaki USA. In this video, I will be demonstrating how you can utilize Mamaki's CG cutter and laminator to create custom vinyl signage. This process is very common in the digital sign industry at a very low entry cost. This is a great process for temporary outdoor signage, such as yard signs, or soft signage when applied to foam core. Follow me as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how you can create a yard sign just like this. With this video, I will show you how to create a one color 18 by 24 vinyl sign for plotting. Here I have a graduation sign I've created. Now I will add a name to the sign. Now that I have typed the name, I need to outline my text so the letters are cut properly. To do this, go to Type, Create Outlines. This turns my text into shape objects. Because I am using script font, I need to make sure the cuts don't overlap. To address this, highlight the name and go to Window, Pathfinder. Under this tool, select the first icon, Unite. This will turn my individual letters into one shape. Now I can plot this sign using Fine Cut 9, which is a plugin for Illustrator. If you do not have Fine Cut installed or need assistance installing it, Please feel free to check out our previous video on Mamaki USA's YouTube channel where I go into detail on how to install Fine Cut 9 and the setup process for your CG plotter. Now I will open Fine Cut 9 by going to Window, Mamaki Fine Cut. Select the plot icon which is the first icon in the window. This will open up Fine Cut 9. I will be plotting my design on a 24 inch roll of vinyl. Because of this, I need to rotate my image 90 degrees so it will fit on the vinyl roll. Since both of my layers are visible, all I need to do is send this file to plot. Here I can simulate the cut and make sure everything is correct before doing a live cut. Before we send the file to plot, let's load the roll of vinyl on our CGSR3. Place the roll on the back and feed the vinyl through the pinch rollers. Make sure the pinch rollers are on the edge of the material. Here we will only need two. Once loaded, press roll or the left arrow so the plotter can read the width of the material. Once we put the plotter in remote, we can now send our cut file. The cutting process will vary depending on the intricacy of your design. Now that our cutting is complete, let's start the weeding process. Here I am using the weeding tool to remove the vinyl that I don't want transferred to the coroplast. It is very important to make sure your plotter cut the vinyl completely and did not pass through the liner on the back side. This makes the weeding process easier and saves time on difficult designs. First, tape your image down. Now start applying your transfer tape top down using a squeegee. Make sure to take your time and not to rush the application. It is important to apply the transfer tape as smooth as possible to avoid wrinkling the vinyl. Once the transfer tape is applied, trim any excess tape along the edges. To start the mounting process, tape a small section of the image to the coroplast. Next, separate the liner from the transfer tape and cut the exposed liner. Squeegee the transfer tape to the coroplast and remove the blue tape. 
Now, flip the sign and slide the squeegee downside under the rollers. Once the roller has been lowered evenly, remove the entire liner from the transfer tape. While holding the transfer, feed the core plast through the rollers. Finally, remove the transfer tape carefully from the core plast. Be sure to pull the transfer tape as parallel to the core plast as possible to avoid removing the vinyl. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to all our social medias, and we'll see you again soon.